Are you looking for a place to kickstart your journey in learning ethical hacking? Well, today we are going to check out Try Hack Me. Hi, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future video. Now, TryHackMe is positioned as a penetration testing training service, and they seem to be aimed towards this sort of beginner intermediate sort of level. They do a great job in teaching all the foundational skills before getting into the more hacking side, which they just do a fantastic job of. TryHackMe offer several learning paths, which you can use to build your skills in certain areas. And these are the learning paths here. So to start with, we have the complete beginner path, which will teach you everything you need to know from Linux Foundation to web app application security, network security, and just really get you comfortable with learning all the beginner skills that you'll need before proceeding into more advanced sort of activities. You then have the Primer series, which is more so just to go over the tool set for both offensive or defensive, or red team and blue team uh, activities. So as you can see here in the red team, you'll have your typical Nmap, Burp Suite, Metasploit, etc. And in the blue team, you'll have things like networking, Splunk, etc. The Web Foundations path will teach you everything you need to know for web application pen testing, which includes the major vulnerabilities, the tool set, and gives you some areas where you can practice finding all these vulnerabilities yourself in the wild. Then they have the offensive path. Now the offensive path is great for those who are motivated to do their OSCP. This will be a great primer as it will teach you all the basics you'll need to know and take you through the exploitation process, the enumeration process and privilege escalation process. It will also throw in things like Active Directory, Mimikatz, and a few extra little things on the side, as well as go into detail about buffer overflow attacks. And recently they just added the CompTIA Pen Test Plus path, which kind of follows the same process as the offensive path, but has more subject matter tailored towards that course. They also have a practice exam for those who want to follow through and take the CompTIA Pen Test Plus exam. So inside all of these learning paths, you have these things called rooms, and these are basically a group of activities. Now, what you see here is one of the rooms for a penetration test on an entire server, where you carry out activities to fully compromise the server. Now, like other penetration testing services, TryHack Me do this in a way where it will sort of guide you through the process. It will ask you questions like, what is the version number of this software? And you have to find that and submit it, and it will sort of guide you through the exploitation process. This is great for beginners as it really gets them learning by doing instead of just throwing you completely in the deep end. So as you can see here, it's got activities for scanning, web enumeration, exploitation, and the post exploitation activities. So personally, I think this method is really great for beginners because it's really guiding them through and showing what's involved in the entire process. Often these can also be accompanied with a video which will explain the concepts in more detail when doing things like scripting or enumeration challenges. Now, in addition to those curated lists or learning paths, you can find the individual activities and these just allow you to jump straight into a room without having to enroll in each particular learning path. And you'll find those rooms for everything for teaching tools to teaching scripting languages or the full boot to root machines. Now, it is worth noting that TryHackMe tend to not focus too heavily on these types of machines where you conduct a full penetration test on. And if you're more after that, then probably Hack the Box VIP or Offensive Security Proving Grounds would be a better option. And lastly, here is an example of the profile. You gain points with each machine that you compromise or activity that you complete, and that gives you experience points and you level up and you enter the ranking boards and everything like that. Personally, this isn't something I'm too interested in, but I can definitely see how it keeps you motivated and coming back to learn more. Now, in terms of delivery, I'm not actually a massive fan of the way TryHackMe have laid this out. While I think the learning paths and rooms are good, you are limited to only enrolling in one learning path at a time, and you have to leave your current path to join another one. It's not a massive deal, but your progress isn't erased, so why do you need to enroll and leave one? It sort of seems needlessly complicated. I also don't like that you have to join a room first before being able to look at all the exercises and deploy a virtual machine if needed. 
I kind of find these things just sort of needlessly complicate the user experience of the site and kind of just make it a bit, a bit confusing for people who are just jumping in. But overall, the way that they structure these rooms or exercises, I think is really, really good. I feel like at a beginner level, the whole try harder mentality uh, is kind of horribly ineffective because you haven't exactly built up the skill set or the domain knowledge to really apply that. And having a bit of a guiding hand to help you find the appropriate areas to research and teach you things by doing, I just think is really, really good and a really effective way of learning. But that being said, some of these rooms can still be challenging, especially for a beginner. Tryhack may seem to be committed to updating their content somewhat on a regular basis, but they haven't publicly stated as to the frequency of this. However, just in the activities room, you can sort by the newest rooms that have been added and you can easily find new challenges to jump into. Now, in terms of price, there is a free option available, but you would most likely want to consider subscribing to a membership. And this is one of the things which make TryHack Me really competitive as their price is really low at 10 US dollars per month, which is cheaper than Hack the Box, cheaper than Offensive Security Proving Ground and half the price of Pentester Lab Pro. So you definitely get a lot of value with TryHack Me. But now onto my pros and cons. And my pros to start with, definitely great content, beginner and intermediate friendly and in-depth detail which teaches you by doing and it's gamified with experience points and leveling up which can really help with motivation. It's also very affordable and one of the best options on the market. Now in terms of cons though, I would really like to see more challenging machines and vulnerabilities because at the moment everything is more geared towards a beginner intermediate level. There's very few boot to root machines where you conduct a full penetration test on a server and the user interface is just needlessly confusing. But for the bottom line, TryHackMe has replaced three of the services that I used to recommend to people learning penetration testing and pretty much made one of my videos obsolete. It's just such a great place for beginners who want to learn penetration testing as everything is condensed into one single website. It offers a wide range of content and with great educational format at an amazing price. But what do you think? Have you tried out TryHackMe yet? Be sure to leave your experiences in the comments below as well as if you have any questions. As always, if you found this video helpful, please leave it a like as it helps people like you find content like this. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.